Hi everyone, Rabbi Yoni here. I just got back from a trip to Israel with a hundred teenagers and I have Zionism on my mind. Now, first let's just acknowledge that even just saying that word Zionism sparks and triggers so many emotions in a variety of different people. And one of the things I noticed from this trip that is pretty consistent throughout every trip I've had to Israel or any time I've been in Israel is that Israel as a nation, Israel as a place, triggers a lot of emotion. There's a lot of deep-seated feelings that come with it. But at the same time, there's also a pretty significant dearth of knowledge. People have some intense emotions, and yet some of the things they say just aren't based in fact. And I'm talking about uh, a, a multitude of different sides and opinions on this topic. So I wanted to make a quick video today, not with any kind of, of judgment or anything else going on, uh, but just an opportunity for me to recommend some books that I think are really helpful for us to have this conversation. And just a spoiler before we get started, books like these, they don't make the cut. So let's look at some books that get us closer to an understanding of the complexity and the nuance of this topic, and hopefully get us to a place where we can talk to one another and work towards peace. First up, it's important to know the background of political Zionism. Religious Zionism has existed as long as there have been Jewish people. Political Zionism, something a little bit different. These two books are incredibly helpful of understanding the multitude of different thoughts and opinions about political Zionism. Uh, the Zionist ideas is primary sources, uh, which is incredible and very, very helpful for having a nuanced conversation about political Zionism and the formation of the state of Israel. And Walter LaCour's A History of Zionism uh, is a good opportunity to learn about a lot of different uh, motivating factors and a lot of things that happened throughout Jewish history that has led to the state of Israel. And while not necessarily about Israel itself, but about the most contested piece of real estate in the history of the world, Jerusalem, a biography by Simone Montefiore, uh, is a dense, dense book covering the incredible history of this contested city. And it's important to know for an understanding of what Jerusalem means to Jews, to Muslims, to Christians, to the world as a whole. A, an overlooked but very important book that really encapsulates the emotion, the ethos of the second and third Aliot and the young people who helped build the state of Israel uh, is Boaz Neumann's Land and Desire in Early Zionism. This book uh, is incredible and it is really wacky uh, in a good way, but it shows you just how important uh, founding this land was uh, to these young men and women of the second and third Aliot. And finally, to get into the complications of nationhood itself, we have Benny Morris's Righteous Victims. Who are the righteous victims? Both the Jews and the Muslims, the Israelis and the Arabs. It's a mandatory reading for anyone to understand the conflict. Also a wonderful book like Dreamers by Yossi Klein Halevi, which also talks about the uh, Six Day War uh, and the um, reunification of, of Jerusalem into Israeli territory and what that means consequentially, politically, uh, religiously, and, and just for the dynamics of the region as a whole. And finally, listen, I know he's canceled, but My Promised Land by Ari Shavit uh, is a really important book um, because it talks about the things that we don't want to talk about. Um, so all of these together really make up a corpus that is so much more important and so much more nuanced then reading something like Dershowitz's book, which is an apologetic, we don't need more digging in our heels and anger and frustration and only listening to one side. We need nuance. We need to be able to talk about the land of Israel as a whole, what it means politically, what it means religiously, what it means emotionally, what it means historically. All of these things are so incredibly important. Uh, if you have any books that I missed on this list that you really recommend, let me know because I want to include them as well. Happy reading, everyone, and hope that we can talk about some of these books together. Thank you.